my gosh, guys, look what just arrived at the door. It is the brand new Glam Light collaboration with Rick and Morty. This actually launches tomorrow, and I'm here to tell you guys about the entire collection. So you guys want to see what this collection is about? Is it actually worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. beyond excited guys so first off welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here i actually haven't sat down to film a makeup look in like over a week i've been doing a whole declutter series here on my channel so i haven't had time to actually film a makeup look but then this bad boy arrived at my door this morning and i was like say less oh say less so it's friday yes what's wrong with you just stay which means that I normally would post a new makeup release video, but since this arrived, we're actually going to post this instead, but I will make it up to you guys and I'll post that video later on. I can't say this week because the week is almost over, but you know, next week. <laughs> so anyway, Glamlight just announced yesterday that they were doing a collaboration with Rick and Morty. If you guys don't know what Rick and Morty is, it is an adult swim cartoon hilarious show over on cartoon network it's almost like family guy meets like american dad it's just a really funny show meant for adults and i really do enjoy the show i don't watch it as often as i used to back in the past but it is really funny and i'm a huge fortnite player and they just recently did a whole collab with rick and morty you can buy their whole set it was so fun to see throughout the game i loved it so i'm gonna go ahead and dive right in we have a lot to talk about with this collection so here's the brand new rick and morty collection with glamlight this is actually created by anthony who is the vice president of glamlight <sighs> i love anthony i love the creative vision that anthony has it is just so unbelievably beautiful and i swear anthony's taking glam light so freaking far so up first we do have the 30 shade palette this is the rick and morty palette right here the packaging like come on the packaging is so cute and i know a lot of you guys in my comment section already said that you guys don't know what rick and morty is but you guys love the quello story regardless if you guys know what the show is or not just enjoy like the packaging, but then the details on the inside. So here's the palette and it says, it's time to get sweaty. The Rick and Morty and Glam Light collection has arrived. Cook up out of this world looks with our 30 shades palette that consists of highly pigmented mattes and shimmer shades that will have you looking interdimensional. Now, when I first saw this palette, I was like, <laughs> yes, it is gorgeous. Like seriously, this is a beautiful color story for the summer season. Like I cannot get over how gorgeous this color story is. Not to mention, I just love the details with a huge mirror and the Rick and Morty right there. But the color story itself is unbelievably beautiful. You're gonna have a mix of those rich, deep, bold colors, along with lighter pastel shades with a hefty amount of shimmers in here. And if you guys don't know, I really do love Glam Light shimmers. They are phenomenal. They are so creamy and buttery. They literally blend like a dream. They do not flake. They last you all day. And the pigments on here when it comes to our mattes are super pigmented and very easy to work with. One of the things I really appreciate about Glam Light is that over the years i've been reviewing glam light i think since 2018 their formula has just improved each and every single year but the best part about them is that they're not raising their cost is they're not raising their cost which is just so unheard of like you see so many brands that are doing so well ColourPop, for example i love ColourPop, but every year their prices of their palettes go up a dollar or two and i notice that glam light doesn't this is a 30 this is a 36 dollar palette for 30 shades that is phenomenal i absolutely love how they're doing their price point so here we have the 30 30 pan Rick and Morty palette right here and yes I'm gonna do two different eye looks today because I'm so excited to dive right on into this okay, so up next we do have the Rick and Morty this is gonna be the highlighter trio right here it does retail for $18 you're gonna have three beautiful like highly pigmented shades in here and it says let all the glow from Rick and Morty X Glam Light highlighter trio set the vibes you can use each shade on its own or swirl them to create or swirl them together to create your own beautiful glow. Now, I do really like this set. It has, again, a little mirror in here. Now, I will say, these colors are not necessarily for me. I am not really into the full colorful, like, highlighter moments. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can pull them off well, but I do really like the shades in here. I have the first shade right here. This is going to be called Anomaly, and it's going to be this really, like, beautiful, like, pinky shift shade. So you put this down, and you can see a mix of, like, pink, purple, blue, in the shade. I will have an up close swatch for you guys as well. And then we have the shade called Cosmos, but this is going to go for more like a pink golden shift. So you can see like a little bit of pink, gold, and green shift in the shade Cosmos right here. But my personal favorite is the shade Uncharted because this is going to be like a mix of like blue, green, and purple. And I feel like this one will probably get the most use out of for me because I can make this work 
I can make this work as like an eyeshadow topper and inner corner moment, but I could also make this work as a highlighter as well. So those are gonna be the three highlighter shades right there. Like I said, this does retail for $18. Next, we do have two lip kits right here. So the first one we have, this is going to be the Rick Hologram lip kit right here. Now this actually does retail for $14. It's going to come with an, a lip liner and a beautiful lip gloss. Now at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's so deeply purple. I don't know how I feel about it, but mixing on top of the lip liner, but mixing that gloss on top of the lip liner, it created the most beautiful like holographic shift. I think it's such a stunning, stunning color. Now on the back, it says Wubba Wubba Lubba Dubba Dub. Rick and Morty has curated a holographic lip gloss formula that gives you an out of this world shine paired with a lip pencil to help shape the perfect look. I think this is such a gorgeous color. I could definitely see myself using this, mix and matching it. And for some reason, I also think that this lip gloss, when I see it, I keep picturing like Halloween. Like I can mix this on top of like a beautiful black liquid lip. Then we have the accelerated lip kit right here. Now this actually does retail for $15. And on the back it says the same thing as the other one. Now this is definitely gonna be more of like an everyday wearing lip. Now the lip pencil is like a beautiful like pinky peaches vibe, but the lip gloss still is gonna have that holographic shift where it has those like high shine sparkles. The formula is extremely comfortable. I do not feel like sticking to the lip whatsoever. I love the high shine. I love the little glitter reflect and I feel like you can definitely use this one more on an everyday basis compared to the other lip kit, but both are really gorgeous nonetheless. And then last but not least, for the first time ever, Glamlight actually is launching their very own setting spray. Glamlight has never released a setting spray before, so I'm actually really excited to try out this formula. I will say the packaging on this is super cute. And this only retails for $15 and the way it smells, it smells just like very clean, like a very clean, like almost clean linen smell is the vibes that I get from the setting spray. But I'm really excited to try this out. I don't know the longevity of this. I don't know if it's supposed to like set your makeup all day or whatnot, but I'm really excited to play with this. I love that it looks like a little beaker. It is so freaking cute. So you guys can buy the entire set for $90 and you guys can use code ALLYD to save you guys 15% off. This collection actually launches tomorrow on Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll have all the details listed down below but I am so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna get this started. I'm like profusely sweating. Like my whole body broke out in sweat. Okay, so before I tell you why, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. I guess I'm gonna try to do two different eye looks today. Um, I think I'm gonna do a halo eye look because it's been a minute since I've done like a halo eye look. So we're gonna do two different eye looks today. So I'm actually gonna start off with this like purple color right here. And I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right next to that. But I'll show you guys everything that I'm doing. Okay, so um, I <laughs> am sweating because I just got a phone call from, um, I, I don't want to say like a potential employer because I don't know what to call them, right? Like a, a, I got a, I got called for a job, okay? So um, yesterday I actually received this phone call yesterday at 4.15 and I missed the phone call and I was like, no, how did I miss the phone call? But my phone never indicated that, that I got a voicemail at all. Like I didn't get any notification about a voicemail until about three hours later. Luckily I Google searched the number and I found that, that it was a potential job that I actually applied for last week. So literally, I sent them an email and then I called them back and left a voicemail. Well, right as I sat down to film, they called me and immediately, oh my God, my hands are shaking. <laughs> my hands are shaking because I got so nervous. Now it's not for anything big in particular. It's actually just a part-time gig at a golf course. It's what I applied for. And they, they were asking me like questions, kind of like, well, what job was it that I'm looking for? Kind of like what interests me, what type of availability I have. They saw that I was a content creator. They looked me up, which is like so embarrassing. Like. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. I still get so, super self-conscious about it, right? I don't know why, I just do. It's like, I'm just not ready for it. I don't know. So they're asking me questions and I just noticed that when I'm nervous, not only do I start to shake, but I break out in freaking sweat. So my pits are sweating like there's no tomorrow, but I started to do this really weird, the like, giddy laugh, like, <laughs> What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Why did I, I did this really weird <laughs> laugh? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? Now the man sounded very sweet on the phone, very sweet. Um, they obviously were talking to me about food and beverage because that's kind of where I have my experience at working at a golf course, whatever. Kind of asked about my availability and what I was looking for. And 
So they were going to pass my, because my resume got, my resume got sent into corporate office and I'm actually posting a vlog today on my channel, on my Florida Life channel. You actually see where I applied to this particular job. Anyway, um, so the corporate office passed my resume to them and they called me and I was actually really surprised. And I even said that on the phone, I was like, I'm, I'm, I was like, listen, I applied to you guys last week. Um, just because I, you know, I'm looking for something part-time. I generally did not expect to receive a phone call because of the fact that I am a content creator. And um, the person on the phone said, yeah, I can see that you're super busy. And I'm just like, it's weird that you know that. You know what I mean? And so these, like, we talked for probably like five or six minutes on the phone. I I made them laugh. At least I, I hope I made them laugh or they're just doing like a, oh, this poor girl. You know what I mean? I'm going to go into like this pink shade right here. Like maybe that's what they could have been doing like this poor girl. So the only thing is that they weren't entirely sure that my availability will be 100% best in their favor, but that they are also currently not looking for, a, um, currently not looking to hire anyone for that role right now, but things change all the time because students go back to school. And I was like, obviously I'm applying for a job that like students apply for. <laughs> But it's working at a golf course. I'd be driving around at like a, a bar cart, right? And like selling food and drinks to people and then working at the at the snack stand as well, like selling food and drinks. So like that's something that's really easily, I obviously have experience, 11 years experience in serving. And I don't want anything full time because I am trying to make sure I could do this job as well. And I explained the situation and they were like, I was like, yeah, like I, I hope that's okay. Like I still want to be able to be a full-time content creator. And the person around me was so much my dad. He was like, well, that's completely up to you. Like, if you still want to be a content creator, by all means, still be a content creator. Just tell me what you're looking for. I'm just like, well, you just sound so nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that they're going to pass my resume to the food and beverage manager and see what, if I could work with them, if, if not, I mean, it's okay. I mean, at least I'm trying, at least I got a phone call from somebody. I got a phone call. I've been applying to jobs now for like a month and a half, if not two. And you guys know I've been getting no, 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 no. And I just, you know, now I'm just, I'm sweating. So yeah, that, that happened. That happened. And yesterday I also had my first interview yesterday on a Google team meet for a company, it'd be, it'd be a remote position. One of the first things they said as well was that they noticed I was a YouTuber and they said, congratulations on, you know, 40,000 subscribers. That's a big feat. And I was like, it's the fact that and I even said, you, I even said you looked me up and they go, well, it's all over your resume. And I was like, I don't know why I get so embarrassed. I just do. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. It's like whenever I go back to visit my husband at work, um, he will always introduce me to like the guests sitting in the chair or other coworkers that I don't, that I never worked with and I don't know. Oh, this is my wife. She's a full-time contributor and like he'll show people my channel. He'll get people to subscribe and you know, it's really sweet, very supportive, but I'm over here going, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> I don't like the attention. I don't know. It's super weird. So needless to say now I am talking a lot because I'm really giddy and I'm just like nervous and I'm sweating and you know, I, 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 I apply to these jobs not really thinking anything i just go for it right and then like when they do call me i get like i get kind of like dumbfounded like really i don't know i need to have more self-confidence obviously i'm lacking self-confidence right now but it's also because i've been told no like 500 times <laughs> so see there's that laugh again me laughing Ugh. you know i had that interview yesterday i don't really know how well it went um they said they would get back to me next week i don't know how well it went because again it kind of conflicts with like what I do a little bit, but I mean, obviously I'll do what needs to be done, but we'll see what happens. They are very sweet. It was my first time having an interview on like Google Meet. So that was actually very fascinating because they were talking without like a headset on and I'm over here with my Razer Kitty headphones. Um, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Razer Kitty headphones, like talking to them going, uh, I'm over here like looking like a bear and you're over here looking professional. And I'm just like, mm. So we're just gonna lay this right here and we're gonna start to blend this out. Okay, so just kind of where we are right now and I'm gonna quickly do the eye base on the other eye and we're gonna do a different eye look over there. Okay, so I was gonna play around with the greens and the oranges, but then I realized that I always do green and orange looks. So I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did on this eye, but with the opposite, but like with like reverse order, if that makes sense. So we're actually gonna go into this blue shade right here. I'm also kind of like challenging myself because I never really play with like blues and purples as often as I do like greens and oranges. So we're gonna do something very similar, just like the opposite direction, if that makes any sense. So anywho, I just wanna thank everybody who's just stuck around so far in this video for me, where's my mirror? For me being kind of just like, 
all over the place because I just, like I said, wasn't expecting that phone call and it really kind of just like got me so nervous and threw me off my game. But like, it was fun, it was fun. And I got to talk about my dad because they asked like, you know, what got me kind of wanting to work at a golf course. I said, well, fun fact, my dad used to be a, um, my dad used to golf all the time back in the day and I used to go with him. And while it wasn't fun at the time, looking back on it now, it definitely was a lot of fun. And actually Corey's first job was actually working at a golf course. I used to love his job then because when I was back in community college, I would go to Panera and then I would go down to where he worked and I'd bring us like dinner and we'd sit there and he'd be closing down the golf course, like locking up all the carts and everything like that, collecting all the balls, washing all the balls. And <laughs> I just realized I said a lot of balls. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed his uh, job. We used to go drive around the 18 whole course and just make sure that everything was put away. Nothing was left on the course itself. And I really enjoyed his job. Sometimes we'd sit there and we'd look at the stars, look at the um, constellations and we'd talk about our future. And this is like when we first started dating. I honestly don't remember why he stopped working at that job. Well, he would think was still in his last year of high school. High school, Yeah, he was still in his last year of high school. And I think the his boss just didn't really have any more hours for him because school was really picking back up for Corey at that time. He was his senior year. And I just feel like, it just ended up, he, maybe he couldn't get it to work. I, you know, I really don't remember now. Now I'm going to have to ask him. But his second job after that was actually working at Spencer's. We're going to go into um, this like purpley shade right here. I kind of like that there's no names. It makes it so much easier. We're going to do the exact same steps. We're just going to place this down right here. Now worry about blending everything together in just a minute. We're going to go into this like darker pink shade right there. Stamp that right in the middle. Okay, and just like before, we're actually gonna go into this little like shade right here, this really beautiful like blue pinky shade. We're gonna put that in the center, but we're also gonna use a highlighter to go with that. So I'm gonna start to place the shade right here, just to kind of lay the base down for it. Guarantee if I use some glitter glue, I could probably make this shimmer shade pop even more. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the highlighter palette and this time I'm gonna go into the shade called Anomaly right here. Beautiful. We're gonna start to place that right here to really kind of enhance that. And then just to kind of make this pop just a little more, we're gonna go back into that Uncharted, that first highlighter shade. I'm just gonna go right in the center, just kind of tap in right there, blend out, tap in, blend out. Kind of where we are right here. I think I might take a little bit of a white highlighter very very lightly i'm gonna go into a little white highlighter i'm just gonna very lightly like very very lightly just kind of like so okay awesome all right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes and we're gonna come back to do the lips and the highlighter together and i'll be right back i realized i wasn't recording and i was doing my under eye right here i'm going with the same exact colors i did on this eye but what I was saying when I was talking to myself, realizing I wasn't recording, was that I never really do like pink, pink, pinkle, <laughs> purple and pink eyeshadow looks or like just like straight up blues because I find them like so intimidating. So I am actually going live tonight on my YouTube channel and I am doing this series. I've been doing it like once or twice a month where I challenge you guys to pick my makeup looks for me. So I'm going to tonight, live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'm challenging you guys to create my makeup looks for me and I'm doing something really fun. I'm putting stuff on my list that's really gonna challenge me to go out of my comfort zone, AKA do a red eye look, do a purple eye look, do a pink eye look, like stuff that I never ever do. I'm putting that on the list tonight. So definitely be there. It's gonna be a lot of fun and oh my gosh, this color is getting everywhere. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I really hope I see you guys there to help, you know, get me out of my comfort zone. And I'm just like I said, I'm challenging you guys to help create the eye look and the makeup look for me. Um, it's a lot of fun and I figured out how to do polls for the most part. <laughs> I'm still learning the poll situation. My husband won't be there just in case I mess it up, but you know what? Uh, we'll figure it out together. So for both eye looks, I wanna go in the, like this bright blue shade. I feel like this bright blue shade would be really, really, really pretty. And I feel like it's gonna complement both eye looks really nicely. It does look like it has a little bit of a white base to it, but I just feel like this color is gonna be like so pretty. We are gonna go into the shade called Uncharted today for our eye looks. I feel like it's really going to match this eye look and I feel like this is gonna be really, oh yeah. 
really bold. Now this has a lot of like glitter reflect into it, but oh my gosh, this is whoo, so freaking pretty. Wow, that just like literally shines like crazy. Now for the inner corner, I am gonna go in with a white highlighter. For, I'm gonna go in with a white topper for an inner corner just because I feel like that would really bring the look together. And then we're gonna do our lips, set the face, and then we are set, then we are pretty much done. Okay, so finish off the look, we're gonna go into Rick Hologram, Hologram Lip Kit. I just like this is gonna complement this so nicely. We're gonna line our lips, fill it in just a little bit with this, and we're gonna go in with the lip gloss. Okay, I'm gonna blend that out with my finger. Then we're gonna go in with that lip gloss topper right here. Gosh, that is like so freaking pretty. Then we're gonna spray the face. Ooh, that's a strong mister. And um, this is the final look. All right, guys, and this is the final look right here. So what are my thoughts on this collection? First off, we do have this beautiful Rick and Morty 30 shade palette right here. This retails for $36. I absolutely do love the packaging, but the color on the... But the colors from the inside, oh my God, it's just so freaking pretty. I love the pastels. I love the bright, bold colors. And I also love all the shimmers that are in here. It's a very beautiful palette. And while it may seem intimidating to some, the way they laid it out kind of made it easy to create really beautiful eye looks using very little shadows, just in case you do get intimidated by color. I love color. So this is definitely right up my alley. I think this is such a fun color story. I'm so like inspired to create so much more looks using this palette. I absolutely love it. And the formula, the formula is just top notch. Then we do have the highlighter palette, and I will say these highlighters are really intense, very, very intense. As you guys can see, the, sh the shade right here, it's like a glitter highlighter, so I'm more of like a wet gleam than I am a glitter. Like, glitter's really pretty, but ooh, it can literally go everywhere all over the face and just make it look like you have just like Tinkerbell farted on the face, but you know what? I live for it. I do. I do because these are really pretty colors. And I feel like the one I'm going to get the, use, the most use out of is the shade Uncharted. It makes a beautiful eye topper. It makes a beautiful highlighter. You can do so much with this. You can mix and match it with the shadows that are in here where by itself, you could even tap this on the lip to give yourself even more of like a holographic shift on your lip. There's literally so much you could do with this. It's a beautiful highlighter palette. Retails for 18. And I think that Anthony did a beautiful job picking out these shades right here. Then we do have the two lip kits. Now, the one that I'm actually more like kind of gravitate to is the Rick Holographic Lip Kit right here. There's something about it that I just think it's so pretty. I love like this purpley berry tone that we have right here. The gloss just complements that lip liner so beautifully. My lips have this beautiful like glitter sparkle to it with being high while being high shine, super comfortable. There's non-sticky. It doesn't really have a smell to either, which I really do appreciate. And I just feel like this is a really gorgeous color story to me personally. I'm gravitating more towards this one. But if you are looking for more every day, this is definitely going to be the one for you because it does have that little peachy pink moment there for you as well. But the lip gloss is gonna be just as beautiful in terms of like the high shine and glitter effect as well. Very gorgeous. And then last but not least, we do have this beautiful like setting spray right here. Whether this works or not, that's something I'm gonna have to test out. Based upon first impressions, I do like it. I feel like it just has a really nice clean scent to it. It's a really cute little component, like being like a little beaker. Super cute, but we'll definitely have to check out to see like what it does for the makeup longevity wise. But that is why I do my series here on my channel called Repurchase or Trash, where every single month I go over everything I tried out to let you guys know what I really think of it at the end. So overall, I think this is a really fun, cute collection. I really do love this. I think Anthony kills it every time he creates a collection he did the chucky one and now we have rick and morty i'm so excited to see what glam white does next you guys can get this entire collection like i said for 90 dollars if you guys wish to do so and you guys can use code ally d to save you guys 15 percent off but overall this is so freaking beautiful if you guys do want to get your hands on it it'll be available tomorrow at 8 a.m pacific center time 11 a.m eastern standard time over on glam lights website so glam light thank you guys so much for sending this my way i think it's so freaking cool i really do love this collection it's like right up my alley i love adult swim it's so much fun i wish somebody would do a courage the cowley dog collection because that one oh, i would live for that one that show gave me nightmares that i still think about to this day <laughs> so glam for listening you guys should do courage the cowley dog just saying <laughs> but yeah guys that is it for today's video guys i really do hope i see you guys tonight on my channel at 7 p.m to pick my makeup for the month of july and if you guys did like this video please consider giving it a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channel it's r for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband 
Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful paid members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in my very next video. And I'll see you guys tonight. <laughs> Bye!